So I just got back from Oregon last night. Getting ready right now. Me and my buddy Colin, we are gonna go do some camping and fishing. It should be fun. Weather's looking prime. The water's a little high and dirty, but should still be a good time. Six good? You're not gonna be able to load I six know, in I one take, hand. I can take three. Okay, alright, alright. <laughs> You're just... Now we're like seven miles from civilization, so we'll be fine. We'll have to uh, strain the silt water, <laughs> and then boil it, <laughs> and then chew it, because it's gonna be like mud when you drink it. <laughs> Gritty and frickin'. Oh, we need the ores, that'd be bad. Just got to the launch, about a season pass. I'm talking to myself, it's a vlog. Yeah, super nice day out. Water should be dirty, but manageable for the jet. Dinner for tonight, gotta make it easy. Yeah, and then there's that whole center console too. Oh yeah, we can like, just, we can just put whatever in there. I realized I did not bring. Dude, I'm talking to myself. Still? To your yeah, camera? yeah. Pretty sure we got everything. Did you, we got all the waters? Yeah. Oh, big fish for yourself. Oh, yeah, use this fat hook. Catch the biggest fish in here. And uh, the fly fell apart. The fly falls apart. Seven cats. Come on, Corey. We just got up here to one of the my favorite spots on this creek but looks a little bit like chocolate milk out there <laughs> it's pretty bad <laughs> yeah so we might switch it up and go to a different river down downstream because that's the river we came down originally and the water was a lot clearer so we're just gonna mess around here if we don't get anything gonna head over there and camp uh probably a little brighter but... whoa don't tell the secrets I didn't know you were videoing over here. It's gonna be like mainly in the deeper stuff. So further. So even like walking yeah. up on that bank and drifting down into it. Yeah, I'll do the strip back just to help me recast and if they hit it there, they hit it there. If not, whatever. Oh my goodness, dude. I didn't know you were straight behind me. No, I was just saying this is gonna be sick. What? This rod. Is it? Yeah. Why? Just watch. It's gonna be dope. What just happened? What was that? What was that? That freaking whoop de whoop. <laughs> <laughs> that freaking cast you had. It's uh, a combination. Colin just said, you think you're better than everybody else, and then he snags a tree. <laughs> Hey, I did not snag you. <laughs> Alright, I think we are about to run upstream. Tried the spot for a while and the water's just so freaking dirty. Plus it's pretty early, so I don't really know where the fish are. It's the first time fishing this creek this year. So we'll probably just run up and then do some dead drifting from the boat. He said that was the cast, but he's pretty much <laughs> pretty much near the yeah, that's the end of it. Yeah. yeah, that's all. That's all we got. All right, Folks. dude, let's run up. Oh, it's been super slow today. We are now on a different creek. The water's a lot clearer. And I had a fish on, second cast. This is where we're just going to set up camp, so we're kind of messing around. Saw what, that's four fish now rise up to the top, so we're going to try a dry fly shortly. And also eat some Subway, because we're starving. Pretty much been like six hours of fishing and no fish. How do you like that, Colin? Six hours fishing, no fish? That's six hours of flogging the freaking water, if you ask me. <laughs> uh, it's been rough. Hopefully we'll figure them out. There's another one jumped right there. Dude, put a caddis on. Okay. Get the net! What are you doing? That's a nice rainbow, too. Oh my freaking goodness! I'm... We gotta go. We gotta go home. I quit. <laughs> Hit! Uh... I'll get him again. I'll get him again. I that was a good rainbow, too. Did you uh, see him? That's yeah. Bad. I literally just shut the camera off two seconds ago. Was nailed that? him. The third try. Freaking nailed him. <laughs> Goodness. 
I am upset. Uh, I'm unhappy. He spit the hook. He's jumping around. Oh man. It was it was a nice. Put on a good show. Put on a good show. It was like 16 inch. Jumped out. Had him on for what? Like 10 seconds. Yeah. This is a good spot. I asked you about this freaking back eddy hole, and you said. I, I thought you were talking about out there. No, I'm talking right here. Like the, back eddy. The, these two channels meet again. It's looking up. We're gonna figure them. That's like five fish on and none in. That's how today's going. Hot minute. It finally freaking happened. How many fish have we lost today? I don't know, a lot. I know, I lost two on for sure, and then this one just slammed it. Got him. A tree literally just fell down. <laughs> in the tree falls in the forest. Oh, that was sick. He slammed it too. Hit it super hard and then jumped out. All right, we just unloaded the boat, most of our gear, and we are gonna try a new spot. Fish this one log jam right where we're gonna set up camp and probably have on like four or five, so that's promising. Figured that they are pretty much in cover at this point, so we are gonna invest our time in log jams. And beer drinking. That's not good. What are you doing? <laughs> we're going. This is, I like this, I like this, uh, this freaking fly. It's a good fly. You hit it and then just ran straight for you. No. I was like, what is going on? Got him. Number two. Is it pretty nice or no? Same as mine, pretty much. A little smaller. 12 inches, maybe? Yeah. You want to get that hook out of his mouth. You want to pick? Yeah, we may as well. When we fish, I got to have some proof that I caught something. We just met my brother. Kyle, he brought his boat down. He's gonna hang out and fish with us for a little while. And now we are on a little island. Saw uh, like three rainbows jump. No takers? It's really hard to fish it. Hey, I'm not done here yet. Never saw Let's go. We're gonna float down. Kyle got a grayling. Oh. Uh, so prime. He cast it right behind his uh, bunch of willows hanging over, and I told him, I said, fish like to hang out there. And literally five seconds later, he's like, I got one. I thought he was joking. <laughs> that was sick. Colin just got another. A little bump, and then he just slammed, slammed it. What? He slammed it? A little bump. I felt a little bump, and I was like, oh, come back. And then he just took it all the way. Heck yeah. Can't see shite. Right here. Come towards it. <laughs> that was the most professional net catch I've ever seen. Uh -huh. Mid-air catch. Right where they were jumping. One yeah. jumped out of the water. They were jumping like crazy, so you put a dry fly on and just jumping around his dry fly, but what was that like? What well, second first like, pass that was a good pass through there. First good pass through there. First good pass, you got him. Nailed it. Sweet. Money. How many fish did we get today? Four. Dude, we only need one more and we're staying an extra night. Oh yeah, Kyle's about to leave. We've got the biggest vlog camera I've ever seen anybody. Vlog, sorry vlog. <laughs> you can tripod. Uh, Almost midnight. Almost midnight. I love it. Kyle's getting ready to leave. Colin said he still sees him jumping over there. Alrighty bro, just text me when you get up there. Then text me when you get home. Setting up camp now. Yeah, we had to rig this up last night. About to figure out if it's gonna work. Got camp set up. Huh? I'm still talking to the camera. So I woke up and the water is pretty much like chocolate milk and it's dropping now. 16 CFS an hour. We already lost so many flies. Today's gonna be even worse, but I'm gonna make some breakfast and then just hang out. Colin's still sleeping. And then we'll probably mess around, see if we can't catch at least one or two more. My waders have holes in both feet. Right now, I am taking off my dry sock and putting on my wet socks from yesterday. That is rough. I 
I don't know what just happened. <laughs> this is what I got. I cannot believe that just happened. Can you believe that just happened? Colin was sleeping in the boat, dead asleep, and I hooked that fish, and then I just start yelling, get the net, get the net, and it woke him, it woke him up from his nap. So he immediately just jumps up as he's hopping out of the boat. His foot caught the, the top of the railing on the boat, and he just face plants right into the water. Luckily it wasn't that deep. It was pretty funny. And I have this fish on. We've been fishing for like how many hours today? So many hours. First fish on all day. There was lightning where? Yeah, there's a big old storm rolling over right now. So I caught that fish and right after that, we decided Colin's gonna drive into town and get us some burgers. And on our way up, we passed this airboat and it's just sitting there. And like three bends above that, there was four guys walking and they waved us down. The airboat broke down, so I had to make two trips to haul him out of there. And Colin is on his way back to get food. He actually is rolling in right now. I think we're gonna head back down to camp, eat, and it's about prime time for fishing. Hopefully get a couple more today. Are you really doing that? Yes. So hungry. That's it right there. Get it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Perfect spot. I can't go out as far today because this water's cooking. That's it. That's the one. Okay, that wasn't it. That wasn't the one. Daddy, dude. He's thick for being that little. Dang. You know? Oh, I just slammed this one. Hooked up in the net. I need to fix that hole. Dude, he almost got out of there. He's like halfway escaped. Okay. I'm gonna go freaking follow your lead on that drift you just did. <laughs> that was awesome. Unbelievable. I'm up around the bend, I hear Colin yelling, so I come down here and he's like, I just saw two fish jump. There was fish jumping right behind those logs. So I took that as a sign that they're starting to get a little more active. A freaking long bomb, I got an indicator on and a bead, and it was a prime drift. So I was like, I'm just gonna walk downstream with it. I don't wanna recast all the way over there. I'm pretty much running downstream because the current's going so fast. And right at the top of this log jam, my indicator goes down and boom, a little tiny like 10 incher. Count it. <laughs> Tree on, son! Tree on! So we're mobbing upstream and we see the smoke from this fire from somebody else today. Look at this. Fire pit, got windy, grass is on fire. I caught two fish, had three on for sure. Yeah, the water's gonna be just super blown out tomorrow. It's pretty bright, full moon. Yesterday was almost full moon. It's gonna be very bright today. The old werewolves will be up. It's almost midnight. <laughs> 13 till midnight. It's wild. I love it. I need a fork also. A little spork. <laughs> you get that is like the only thing you could ever use to eat out of that. I know, because they sent test of this in the box with all the mountain house. Really? And it's prime, yes. Don't have to get your fingers all freaking That is like the only thing you could actually eat out of the bag with and not just be yeah. like at the end licking your fingers like the outsides only. <laughs> this mountain house spork. We forgot a couple things, including any sort of bowls. Any sort of bowls, sunscreen, I forgot a hoodie. All I had was my rain jacket. And what else did you forget? Nothing. Nothing? Food, I didn't bring any food. Oh yeah, yeah, that's what you're talking about. He didn't bring any food. Nothing. You get that and then you give me some of that other stuff in here. Yeah. Colin's spaghetti. And my yakisoba. This is the end of night two. We're leaving tomorrow morning. First thing in the morning. Been, been an awesome trip. Yeah, it's been fun. We just made it back to the launch. Fishing was horrible. Real bad. <laughs> Camping was fun. Just gonna watch the water level. It, it doubled from t today versus the day we went downstream. It has doubled. Pretty wild. I'll, I'll probably be back like Friday and you leave on Wednesday. So we will see you guys next time. Peace out.